National security depends on delivering two objectives, to deter aggression, and if that fails, to win quickly. And our ability to deliver against these outcomes rests in how quickly we can develop new capabilities and field them at scale that give us the asymmetries we need. Now, hypersonics is an area, a critical technology area, that can deliver against these objectives if we are willing to approach the problem differently. And one of the biggest barriers in hypersonics is our ability to test, both on the ground and in flight. The heat facility here at Cecil will provide continuous flow conditions necessary to rapidly develop high Mach air breathing engines. Heat will come online over a course of six phases, starting with sea level static testing of the Pratt & Whitney F100 engine later this year. As we expand the facility's capabilities in future years, we'll add continuous flow conditions up to Mach 4, 5, and 6, higher pressures to simulate lower altitudes, and clean air without combustion products. The modularity and simplicity of this approach quickly expands the nation's high-speed air breathing test facilities and infrastructure. It'll unburden our critical infrastructure elsewhere in the country and let it focus on what it can do best and aid in the development and acceleration of both hypersonic missiles and hypersonic aircraft. I'm also proud to announce that Hermius will be basing our initial commercial flight test capabilities here at Cecil as well. Not only expanding our ground test infrastructure, but our flight test infrastructure. Cecil's experience with uncrewed aircraft operations, as well as access to the Eastern Range, makes it the perfect place to do this. Starting in 2026, we'll begin commercial flight test operations, serving both a range of governments and commercial customers. And shortly after, we'll scale to weekly test opportunities to meet the customer demand that we see with our fleet of quarter horse aircraft and continuing to improve and expand the capabilities annually. We're doing all of this now. We're not waiting. Thank you very much, AJ. I love your choice of footwear, my friend. Uh, good morning, Team Hermius. I'll say it. What y'all do here is just plain awesome. Hypersonic aircraft, hybrid engines, the sky is the limit. It's a landmark day, not only for Jacksonville, for America, one that recognizes the critical importance of hypersonic aviation to America's national security and defense. Under the leadership of Glenn Case and A.J. Pipica, I just got to spend a few minutes with them. I got fired up listening to them. They understand the vision. They know what's out there, know what needs to be done. And guess what? They're in a hurry. They're ready to get things done. It can't come fast enough. Maybe that's why they wear tennis shoes. They will uh, boldly help our warfighters deter aggression, outpace America's rivals by leaps and bounds. The hypersonic edge can't come soon enough. Folks, this facility is so needed uh, for our national security. Uh, and so congratulations to uh, Hermius and uh, let's put the heat on China. Hermius has set an iteration rate of developing one new aircraft per year, a standard that has been unheard of for decades in the aerospace industry. Let me put their nimbleness in terms I understand as a marathon runner. Hermius is setting the pace for the entire race to hypersonic flight. The testing and research that will go on here today will provide our service members with cutting edge technology. It will also support U.S. national security and ensure that we remain supreme in the air.